go. Hello. To continue our blue week, if kids were here, normally we would be making blueberry muffins. So uh, Soren focused on this recipe already. <coughs> Excuse me. But I am going to email it to you as well. And what's great about this recipe is it doesn't have to be for blueberries. You can substitute another fruit for it. You could put in some fresh raspberries or frozen raspberries. You could add a little lemon zest to it to make it raspberry lemon. You could, if you have frozen cranberries like I do, I always freeze a couple bags when they're available in November. You can get them out and chop those up and put those in. Put a little orange zest too and have cranberry orange muffins. You can mix it up. But the basic recipe works well. So Natasha, don't worry about that honey, just get more flour. Natasha is measuring out two cups of flour. Since we don't eat eggs, I've already mixed up one egg replacer egg. Those of you who have an egg allergy, you probably are already familiar with this product, but it works really well in baking, this energy egg replacer. And then I'm going to do the liquids in this bowl. So we have, let's see, how much? Three-fourths of a cup of almond milk. But you guys can use regular milk. And again, your child can pour it in, but I recommend the adult do the measuring of the liquids. But they're really good about, um, when they've done recipes here with me, measuring with do doing the dry ingredients by themselves. I just make sure that they get it up to the cup, the top of the cup, and it's not overflowing too much. Good job, honey. All right, pour that in. Then I'm going to have Natasha do one tablespoon of baking powder. Just move it. So this is all unbleached, all-purpose flour. So remember that you get heaping, and then you rub it against that metal to get the a good amount. But honey, you're going to want to hold it. Hold the can. Hold the can. Hold the can. And then get it in there with the flour. And then mix it up. Yep. It's a little hard with that big one, so get a little bit. It didn't come on the on the back, so add a little bit more. Okay, now remember what we have to do when we stir? Hold the bowl and stir gently. Okay, so we've got the almond milk, we have the egg replacer, then we have some canola oil, which adds to the moisture of the muffins. So I'm going to add a half a cup. Of canola and then Natasha's getting that mixed in and then let's do one teaspoon oh no I didn't get my teaspoon from the kitchen let me grab my teaspoon this is I'm back I got my teaspoon so we're gonna do one teaspoon of sea salt and I always do the measuring of the sea salt it's because that would be terrible if we got too much in all right, so remember to stir that up gently, please. Okay, so then what do we need? We need some sugar. And what's nice about this recipe is it's uh, not a lot of sugar. It's just a third of a cup of sugar. And then I always tell people if that's not quite enough sweetness for you. Here, let's stir that in now. Um, you can always sprinkle some sugar on top of your muffins before you bake them. Make them a little sweeter. So we have our baking powder, our flour, our salt, our sugar, our egg replacer, our almond milk, our canola oil, and now we just need to mix the dry with the liquid. So it's pretty simple and fast. Come on over here, Natasha. And then we're going to add our blueberries. Alright, so we're going we're gonna to pour this in. Alright, stir that around, get that incorporated. Good. So it's a pretty fast recipe. And then um, all I really need to say at the end here is that I use one package. It's one 12 ounce package of blueberries. It's two and a half cups. Um, so if you're going to do an equivalent of cranberries or some other fruit, just do at least two cups and then you'll have enough distributed around. And it gets kind of thick. But then once we add the berries and the liquid from those berries, especially if they're thawed frozen, 
Did you use fresh or thawed frozen? It adds to the moisture. And then like I said, you can always sprinkle a little sugar on top if it's not sweet enough for you. But what's great about muffins is that I have found that if you bake muffins at 400 degrees for 20 minutes, they're perfect. I never waver from that. 400 degrees for 20 minutes. Okay, thanks. Enjoy. Bye-bye.